Hey guys, Omar here for another Fuji X-T20 video. And in today's video, I'm going to unbox a grip that I purchased. I won't tell you what it is yet. For the special unboxing, I got an overhead rig. Don't try to replicate this. It's really complicated, and I don't know if you could do it. First, I've already mentioned that my dilemma whether I should get a grip or not. If you notice, I have this tiny, small camera case by Lowepro. I mentioned before in another video, they don't really make it anymore. It's called the Edit 110. It was for an old camcorder that I had, but the Fuji X-T20 fits perfect. Well, the question's gonna be, will the camera fit in this little case with a grip on there? I've been holding it, you know, it depends on the size of your hands, but for the most part, I actually hold the camera on the lens. Uh, but if, it, if I am holding it with my hand, I kinda got this little thing going here, this sort of like two finger thing. And so it would be nice if there was a little bit more grip on the bottom. Options are Fuji's official grip. It's about over a hundred bucks. Um, and it blends in nice to the camera. So if you want it, your grip to look completely like the camera, the Fuji one is great. That looks good there. Some cheap options on Amazon. There's one for like 26 bucks. That one looks a little plasticky for me. I wanted to you know, keep the camera nice and, and pretty. Someone mentioned Metro case grip, uh, 80 bucks. That one looks really well made. I decided to go with JB, the JB wood grip. I don't even know what it looks like yet, so we're gonna unbox it together. This is my first unboxing of anything and I'm failing miserably. Oh, all right, we got it open. Don't cut yourself. It comes with a little made in Oklahoma, made in OK. Whoa, look at this, guys. Oh, that's pretty nice. Look at that. It's got a cool little sack there. Inside, there's some fancy paper and oh, nice, a sticker. So branding, man, branding. Oh, and we could stick that right here. <laughs> Opening the sack. It's, whoa, I got the dark wood one. Let me get this box out of here. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Cool little branding there. See that's etched in. It's nice and light. It's a little heavy on this side, which is cool. All right, let's put it on the camera. Wait, is there more in here? Yes, there's like hardware or something. Hardware, and oh my God, we got money back. Look at that, a penny. Okay, so you get a cool little bag with a penny on there to, you know, that's very cool that they do that. They give you a nice clean one. Uh, you don't always have a coin with you if you need to take things off or put on a camera. So just like a little hint on my car keys, I have this little metal plate. You know, you could get something similar. All right, so let's put this guy on. Uh, the great thing is when you put the grip on here, uh, you actually get a new tripod mount. So it's got uh, the old, you know, the camera's tripod mount becomes the mount for this. And it, you know, it centers it with the lens. Putting it. All right. Ooh, oh, that feels kind of cool. That looks like on the camera. It blends in kind of nice, this dark wood. That's pretty cool. So now you can, you can sort of hold it like this. Feels nice. Didn't add too much weight. It's very lightweight on the camera. And it gives it a nice little grip like that. How does it feel? It feels cool. Let me try with the strap. That's interesting. Very comfortable if I'm using it for video, great. For photography, I kinda, uh, I'll show you over here. I kinda, the way I hold my camera, since I back button focus and I have my finger rested on here, um, I would be holding this grip with two fingers. Let me see, it's probably better if I hold it with three. Um, that's kinda not how I shoot, but, so it feels a little strange because this top one slips off for me. Yeah, it's super cool looking. It's really well made, like amazingly made. So smooth, feels really nice. Gave no weight to the camera. I am not 100% sold on how it feels in my hand. It may be the way I shoot. Uh, I'm finding that I'm resting my finger over here on the top. You know, so I'm kind of holding the camera with two, these two. Um, so you, maybe I'm doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. But here, here I find I'm resting my, you know, sort of like octopus hand, like I'm trying to grab. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's, it's good. Let's see if it fits in the bag. That was the number one concern. Will it fit in the bag with the grip? Totally does. 
fits in the bag and the bag closes. All right guys, so there you have it, the JB Designs camera grip for the Fuji X-T20. I like it, I'm a little torn. I wish this was a little smaller. Again, I like holding uh, the camera at the bottom of the lens and the plate kind of gets in the way of how I hold the camera, which is, you know, kind of like this is a little bit in the way if I, if I can't feel the lens as much as I want to feel the lens. But maybe I just need to get used to it. I mean, the company is JB Design, not sponsored by them at all. Uh, I love the company's branding and how they packaged and their shipping rates and uh, that it's super lightweight, that it fits in my bag. Love that, love that. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next video and let me know what you think. Subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Thank you.